Hey everyone, so in today's video I wanted to share with you guys something that just arrived. As you can tell, it's already been unboxed because I figured I might as well just get straight to the point and share with you guys what this is all about. A while back someone had asked me to share a video on how I store my like stationary travel necessities. So I was currently, before I get into this one, I was currently using, or I've been currently using this one right here. And this is just a... Um, just a regular case and it's by um, I'm not too familiar but it's this brand right here I found it at a store in San Francisco called Jmart which they no longer exist anymore it was for like nine dollars which isn't bad at all for one of these because I've seen on mochi things like similar ones to this where it's like 30 20 to 30 or 40 dollars and um, yeah so this type of case I like a lot. I mean, it's very spacious as you can tell, and it's definitely bigger than this one here. There's a bunch of pockets, as you can see here, and a zipper pocket, and a bunch of other pockets in here as well. And then some here. The only thing I didn't really like about it is that they're open, the pockets are open, and of course things could tend to fall out the more I stuff it. So I figured, you know, I might as well just put it aside and try to see if I could find something else. And I know that a lot of people have been using the Kipling um, 100 pen case for storing their, um, what do you call that? Their stationary goods and like their pens and stuff like that. So this is perfect because it is definitely, um, secure everything's secure in here since it has a zip around pocket so i haven't opened it up yet i'm just going to show you guys what it looks like out of the plastic here so let me just tear this open so this is what it looks like i actually um, posted a picture on instagram a few weeks or a week back or so and i was asking if or which color i should get it was either between gold um, the turquoise or this artsy kind which they are all really really nice um, and I just figured golds would go best with um, everything that I have like all the planners that I use and stuff like that so I thought this was perfect and I love it it's very true to the color that was online which is really nice and the purses and all of their um, accessories and stuff like that they have this type of material I'm not exactly sure what type of material it is maybe it'll say on the tag not too sure but I'll find out for you and let you know but so this is how it looks like it's really compact and I like it again it's very secure with the zipper and it has this logo right here which just says Kipling you can find these at like Macy's not Macy's but I know they sell this brand at Macy's but they don't have this particular item there um, here is the let's see the zipper part is rubber and then this is like a metal I guess and then Oh, I forgot to show you guys. It comes with a little monkey as well. They're known for this um, little keychain to be attached to all their purses and necessities and accessories and stuff like that, um, which I know I probably won't leave on. And then, okay, so let me just show you guys the 360. So here is the front, the side, and the back part. And then here is the bottom. So once you open it up, you get this really nice, cute pattern. I'm not sure if they're all polka dots um, inside, but this is how the gold one looks like. And as you can tell, there's some slots for your pens. You could also put other things because it's elastic, so it's perfect to fit probably scissors or something um, since it's very stretchy. But I like the pattern already. That's really cute. So you could fit pens on here, whatever you'd like. Um, this is just plain. And then right here is the main pocket. So I actually love this. I love the color and the pattern. And it just goes well with the outside. Um, let's see if it says anything about material in this. Actually... Nope, nothing about material, but anyways, 
um, that's pretty much how I think I'm going to start organizing this compared to this one right here I mean I love this thing but it's not as practical for what I'm carrying around so um, this is just a quick overview of how it looks like really really nice and it's made very nice I mean for what you pay if you're gonna pay $49 for or you know the original price um, I actually got this on sale during the Labor Day weekend and I just stumbled across it. I thought I would just take a look and see if they were having a sale since I was shopping online on other sites. And sure enough, um, it was on sale. These run for $49. Yeah, the MSRP right here is $49. And this one is in Toasty Gold, if you're curious about the color. Um, and I got mine. I think it was on sale for $29. And then I got an extra percentage off and my total amounts came to $27 which is not bad at all for this right here. So since I'm currently using my Midori Traveler's notebook I don't really need a lot of things to carry along with me so um, but if I was carrying my like three ring binder I know definitely I would be bringing a lot more things. So I'm just going to show you guys what I've been currently using with my Midori and how I'm going to start in here. So that's everything that I would probably take with me. I did leave out a few things like these masking tape stickers, um, some washi tape, and some diary stickers, which like for example these ones here. Um, just because I pretty much go with the color scheme every week or every month. Um, since I'm currently using the Midori, I just use my monthly inserts so if I was to do that I would just probably pick certain colors out of each tin that match and so on um, and then go with that so that's pretty much what I would bring with me so I'll go ahead and open this up again and as you can tell when I was closing it there was no problem with the amount of things that I had in here so if I was to use this right here there's no way everything would fit in this. I mean, it probably would, but everything would be so bulky and of course things would eventually fall out. So this is an awesome, awesome case. As you can see, I fit all of the pens that I know I use um, a lot or most often and they fit perfectly in here. There was one slot right here that I just skipped because it was, it was a little too snug. So I have all of these pens here. I have all of the markers, um, and highlighters and a pencil here and then back here is everything that you guys just saw so I have my stamps my um, studio L2E stamps I have some stencils um, right here which fit nicely I have some um, refills for my Coletto and um, my friction and I have this 
paper trimmer. It's like a little mini paper trimmer, which is perfect size for traveling. Um, and then I have ink, which I always use this black ink. And I'll, actually, I forgot one more, which is the Memento. Um, stays not memento it's the stays on ink which I use a lot as well then I have deco runners I have um, this correction tape and then this what do you call this um, adhesive this is the repositionable one and then I have my um, stamp blocks and then this stamp I love it's the one with the date on it um, I just really, really like this one. And then I have a pair of scissors. So it's really, really simple. I mean, you could probably, I could probably fit a little bit more in here, but I probably won't be doing that. So that is pretty much it. And this is how it looks like when it's not closed. And you could just tell that's pretty awesome on how um, this pen case really, really works. Look at that. It's like pretty stuffed. It won't even close. But when you zipper it up, there is no problem at all with it. So it doesn't even get stuck or anything like that. And this is so awesome. I honestly like this. So if you're looking for a like organizer for your pens or pretty much anything, you could organize your makeup in here too if you're traveling as well since um, it does have these little elastic straps on it you could put your makeup brushes but I probably wouldn't do that because it would probably get dirty or most likely get dirty it's a multi-purpose case so you could use it for whatever you desire so that's pretty much it I hope you guys found this helpful if you have any other questions or other requests as well always feel free to leave a comment or message below and as always thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you in my next video bye